What's good, everybody? It's your boy Devin back in the building, and I want to say happy holidays to each and every single one of y'all. And uh, hopefully, y'all not spending all your fucking money on this Christmas, man. For real, dog. It's still a pandemic out here, folks. Y'all need that money, okay? Can't be out. You spend all the money on this shit, and then no lights. You know what I'm saying? Spend all the money, no gas, no heat. You gotta have your money out here, man. So you already know. But let's get straight into it, all right? Tony Baker Family History, Real Fan Edition, Part 33. We're going to do a try not to laugh at this. I know he's going to make it funny, so yeah. But before we do... Make sure y'all subscribe right now. And make sure that y'all subscribe to Prod and Trevor. You know what I'm saying? He the one putting out these killer compilations, man. I'm going to have the original video down in the description box. Go to his channel. Subscribe to this brother, man. He dope as hell. So, yeah, we're about to get into it. Let's go. Yo, look at Miles up here in the corner. Killing it. Killing it. Boom. They always had Miles in the same corner, upper right corner. Boom. Yo, he looks Pie. just like you know his man. Hey, why we look so much alike? There two people involved in my conception. I got questions. Boom. Pow. You know what I'm saying? Out here. Killing it. You know what I'm saying? Look at the look at the look at the poles up, the foot placement. Major key back then, see? So y'all doing the toe point now on the gram. This was the was the toe point's ancestor right here. The foot placement. And when they took field trips, they didn't put my mom in the top right corner. They put her, boom, pow. I'm going to find her every time. Okay, this says Martha Ruggles on here. I went to this school, so there's a good chance I'm in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. Look at this. Woo. Come on. My lips was ashy that day. Why ain't no, nobody ever looks out on picture day? Lips was dry as hell, man. Look at that, man. Why was my head just so robust? Look at that cap and gown, man. I barely graduated on time, y'all, but I pulled it through. This is, uh, we were in high school, and this is us with all our prom dates. You know what I'm saying? And I was not ready for the picture. Look how I'm sitting. Look at how I'm sitting. I'm still adjusting in the seat. They snapped the pick anyway. That's how they did me on my prime day. day Look at my face. I'm not even ready. I'm not even ready, though. Everybody else ready. The time that she was ready. Robert Reed, he was serious business. Vanessa Rogers, she was ready. Lerone, he was ready. Veronica was ready. Maisha was ready. Devin was ready. I don't know why Devin was like, nah, I ain't smiling whatsoever, man. Because Devin was always laughing and having a good time. But in this picture, he looked like he's the shooter. Mm. But over here, old Tone, though. The mastermind. Not ready at all. But let me tell you something, man. My feline shirt was crisp. You know what I'm saying? But my face was. This is my Chicago Public Schools certificate. To show that I have successfully completed the elementary school education program of the Chicago Public Schools and is therefore awarded this diploma for graduation from the eighth grade by the authority of the Board of Education of the City of Chicago. Don't ever tell me that I didn't graduate eighth grade. I got the certificate right here. The proof is in the pudding. Youngest son right there, back in the day. Yes, that's my dad right here. Got the Got the liquor on the table. Got Bill Cosby in the background. Pops. It's my oldest brother right there. It's my yo. It's my brother's photo album, man. This photo album is dilapidated. Surely. It's my grandmom's right here. Serious business. Little pops. My dad thought he was a uh, link from the Mod Squad. You know, I, Clarence Williams the Third reminds me of my dad. If you're not familiar with who Clarence Williams the Third is, he was the black dude in the original Mod Squad TV show. He was also the dad in Sugar Hill. 
He was in uh, Tales from the Hood as the Mortician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a yeah. He's a great old look. Y'all haven't seen Tales from the Hood too. How you been? My grandmother again. My mom looked dead on her. The super young moms right here. Probably like one years old. Opening gifts. You know what I'm saying? This is my aunt Katie. My favorite aunt. My son Rudy. So he's my cousin. Of course. <clears throat> Willie Frazier. I talk about him on stage a lot because he was just, he was a character. Tina and Tanya. Derek, I don't think Derek was born. Yet, old names so Willie Frazier. But remember that house? Pete Summerton. I don't know if y'all have been following me for a while, but like, remember when I went to Chicago and I showed y'all that house we used to live in? It was red and it was boarded up. This is the house they lived in. Willie Frazier, rest in peace. This is my uncle Snoozer as a baby. Cute baby, man. Look like you. You. Like. Baby. Moms again. Same. This is my mom and her two brothers in a car that says, out to California. Oh, off to California, my bad. It's fun. They never come out there. You know what I'm saying? In a car, off to California. They ain't been yet. Still waiting. It's funny that this picture even exists. You know what? I'm keeping this picture. Off to California. I'm still waiting for y'all to come all to California. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The plot thickens. It's probably, might have been the same day. It's my grandfather right here. I think that's him. I think that's him. I didn't see him smile a whole lot, but he was smiling terribly. What, what, when did grandfather stop smiling? Anyway. And this is his dad. So my great grandfather. He was smooth. Was handsome, you know what I'm saying? No pause either. He was Press clean play. back then. He was out here killing it, man. You know what I'm saying? Good looks running the family. All right? Here's my grandmother over here having a great time with the wide eyes in the, in the picture. This, look, this whole gathering right here. This is. Yeah. Dude, right there. Yeah, father, huh? why is he so unimpressed? That's what I was about to say. Like, he is out of here. He's like, man, just take the picture, bro. I was just thinking that. Picture his voice being high pitched. Just take the pictures, man, so we can get out of here, man. Get these drinks. There's ladies in here. I'm trying to get on. I picture him sounding like Terrence Howard. He's good. Mm, he looked like it. this photo shoot. And my man got caught slipping. Eyes closed. Damn it. I know he was like, come on, bruh. Said back in the day, Lingo. Now, this, this, back in the day, when you took a photo, you had to pray for the best. Because there wasn't no quick redo. You wasn't mm, going to see facts. it until later. That was it. Now we get that instant. Delete that. Retake. Was like that back in the day. You didn't know how you was looking. So you had to keep your eyes open and focus on the picture, mm. sir. Mm. Man, they out here stunting on y'all, man. Look at this. Black excellence up in here. Facts. Come on. Grandfather out here chopping it up, talking big noise. Man, you jive turkeys out here eating. That's what he used to call me, a jive turkey. I used to hide from him every time he came to the house. Where that turkey at? Yeah. Mm. This is him as a youth. The youth. This is mom's out here looking adorable. Got the dress on, you know what I'm saying? Looking to the side with the fake look away. You know, that's not a new thing. Fake look away, been here. You know what I'm saying? Look at her. It's my great grandfather business deal see if look at the floss though look at he had his hand placed perfectly so you can see the blingage see what you're doing out here great granddad yeah you gotta get they were smooth My back in the day grandfather man, man out here killing it yeah the colombian juggler look at the hat he was the only one focused on the this is why you know when people say when they take pictures with me 
I stay posed up and ready for the camera, you know. This is where I get it from. Everybody else looking to the side, they looking at, I don't know where, he pointing at something. He's like, man, they got them ribs on the grill. Not to assume he like ribs, but you know he like ribs. <laughs> he looking at the Yo, ribs. no, man. He was like, yo, this picture, though. And look at, look at the, this is classic. Look at the car in the background. This is vintage. The cuffs. This is crazy. You made me yes. laugh just by this. This is what, this is what the wardrobe department looks at when they're doing period movies and TV shows. This is what they look at to see how people dress in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's my grandfather. Once again, great granddad. Yeah, they was, yeah, they was out here living it up. These little functions they was going to. Look like the move, man. Look at these women out here. All right. Y'all was out here. Oh, so great granddad was in the community with the cops. Hey, Ma. Was he involved in the. He looked like he was <clears throat> Bobby Johnson out here. Shaking hands with the, with the feds. Hmm. Who was this guy? This is back in the day. This is back in the day. They'll never tell you. You know what I'm saying? Handshakes like this wasn't often, all right? You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yo, now my mom, she went to Englewood High School in Chicago, Illinois. Now this is her, uh, this is her yearbook, Purple and White, 1964. That was a good year, man. I was just getting started in 1964. I had a full-time job in 1964. Yes, I'm older than my mom. Yo, look at look at how sharp they were. Look at my mom. <coughs> Front, prominent, looking like a movie star. Look at moms out here. That moms right there. All in the front. They got her in the front. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Just sharp in the 60s. This is 60s black folks right here. Come on. Wonder what they all up to right now, you know what I'm saying? They done live fully realized lives. Look at him. He got he got greatness on his mind. Look at this. Shaw. This teacher right here. This teacher probably she probably done passed away by now, man. But man, y'all ever look at yearbooks and be like, who's still alive out here? Oh, this is my oldest brother, Khalil. Look at this dome piece though. Look at that dome. I can't even laugh, yo. <laughs> Okay, you had your little baby phone call. What you talking about? Formula getting changed? Hmm? Well, look at how grown everybody looked in their high school pictures. Like when I look at high schoolers now, they look like babies to me. But these right here, these were teens looking like fully grown. They were distinguished, realized individuals right here. All right, some of them look a little young, but still. They, just the whole style of the day. This serious bitch. She had a full time job. She was a receptionist for John F. Kennedy in this picture. Mm. Like, look at, look at this man. They, they, they's out here marching for freedom. Look at the grown. This is a grown man. This is an alderman right here. Sidney Poitier you know out here, man. Grown, but they can't. Man. He looked like, you know, he was up to no good in the community. Look they the roughing ass. He looked like the lead singer of, the, of, a, of a R &B group. Look at her, though. She thought she was everything with this wig piece right here. Look at y'all in the 60s, man. Look at this dude right here. Fully realized. He wasn't no teen. He had three kids. And an ex -wife. Stop, this Tony. Kid, you, wasn't, you wasn't no senior in high school. Look at them. Oh, oh. You had to kill oh boy! Did you have to do them like this? She killing them. Picture day. Killing them. Who's this? Is it Donna Holtzclaw? Oh, we know who that is. I don't know who that is, but you know. Look at him, man. He was not ready. She. Right? Stop. We found her. Sandra, that's Tony with a wig on, man. Here, moms, fully realized in the yearbook pitch. That is Tony <laughs> with a wig on. You know what I'm saying? She looked like me. Okay, Sandra, what was you into? Okay, let's see. Over here we got 
She's in the acapella choir, drama club, modern dance. She wanted to become an elementary school teacher. Her pastime, bowling. I got the classics right here. Okay, this is my grandfather. And this is my grandmother right here. So these two individuals are the executive producers of my mom. As you can see, you can see them and her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to tell. They couldn't be on Maury with the, with the BS. They, they couldn't do that. Now, over here, take a trip down memory lane. All right, this is my uh, nephew, Dragon. It's my oldest nephew. Dragon, you know, Rockman is his name. You know what I'm saying? This is back in the day. Hey, this is back in the day. So this is John, Peter, and Paul by Anthony Baker. I don't remember what what I wrote. What is this? Oh. <laughs> All right, so I don't remember. <laughs> All right. Look at this, man. He's like, this is God talking to him. You will go to Rome. Yes, God. Look at this. This is John. I guess the mountain, the people. I guess that's John down there. Man, my artwork is trash. But you know, y'all ain't too much better. All right? I don't remember how old I was when I did this, by the way. I'm going to talk about good artwork. Look no further than this, though. My Peter? Y'all see the robe? Y'all see the biblical robe with the sandals? The biblical sevens. Y'all like see what he got on his feet? This, this is a masterpiece right here. Look at this grill piece. You got the rosy cheeks in these biblical streets. Come on, man. Artwork. This is my grandfather, Charles Bolden. You know what I'm saying? Got that. He got the grandfather shirt on, the classic. This this is low-key a Goodfellas type shirt. And you know he's using his shirt pocket because the mm -hmm. old school players start using mm -hmm. that shirt pocket. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's yep. my grandfather. I got his voice. And apparently his, uh, his nose. My nephew Dragon again. <clears throat> When we lived in uh, New Mexico, me and Dragon was always together, man. This is my this is my road dog, man. Now he out here with kids of his own, man. But this was my guy. We was partners in crime, me and him. Yeah, why well, I look surprised? Like I didn't know it was a picture being taken. Look, look at look at my little teeth. Look at me. See, I've been Gaps McGee this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Even when my teeth was new. To take this and look at it real quick on the look back, I'd be like, yo, let's redo this. I wasn't ready. Because clearly I'm not ready. Mouth open, no smile, wide eyes, surprise eyes. This is not a smile. I know they, I know they gaps. You know what I mean? <laughs> gaps and hugs, man. Look at this. But my, I was not ready for this picture. Like, can we get a redo? Y'all y'all knew I wasn't ready, man. Let me re-up on this pic. Now, if I would do that, that's not a smile. That's like, oh, oh, we take it. That's me looking around the room not knowing what's going on because I was a kid. And peep the shirt collar. Let's, let's, let's talk about the whole visual. You know what I'm saying? Peep the sweater. Look at the collar, though. This collar was robust. This collar was like, y'all gonna see me and I'm a flirt. It looked like it's crawling out of my shirt. The hair piece on the side was kind of, you know, looked like I wrestled real quick. Look at that, man. Look at my eyes, though, the innocence. The pure, innocent purity. My eye whites was pure. You know what I'm saying? Now my eye whites is all raggedy, aged, withered. My eye whites got stories to tell now. Veiny. But look, man, I was not ready in this facial pose. See, this is my oldest brother, Khalil. He was ready. He was ready. He, he mustered up a smile. He looked at the camera. You know, his fro was robust and ready. His collar was under control. You know what I'm saying? He was ready. He was looking confidence in the eyes. You know what I'm saying? 
He was ready on this one. Look, look, look at the dog. Oh, 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 it looked like I'm a me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 look, it looked like I'm scrambling for an excuse for somebody. He fucking got me, man. <laughs> it started from <laughs> when he was doing the pictures with his grandfather and then the dude like hey, take the pictures man yo then the dude with the clothes I, yo I couldn't help it man I could not hold it dude I couldn't man <laughs> that shit was funny but yo back in the day though boy our grandparents was smooth as hell, man. Smooth as hell. I'm telling y'all, man. If y'all ain't know, now you know. But make sure y'all like the video. Smash that like button, man. I'm getting a whole lot of views, man. Hit smash them like buttons, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all comment down below where y'all broke at. You know what I mean? And more links to videos y'all want me to react to. And make sure that y'all subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. And share the video all over the place, all right? Be getting back to it. Again, happy holidays to y'all. Enjoy yourself, man. Spend time with y'all family as well, man. Get out the phone. You know what I'm saying? Get out the phone. Get in your family face and show how much you love them. You know what I'm saying? Peace, love, blessings. I'll see y'all in the next video. We out.